Hello guys, welcome to Outlast. This is literally going to be the first horror game I'm going to do on this channel. I've put this on Premiere because I actually wanted to live stream but I think that if I do it on Premiere I will get more views and you know more people will see it and more people will watch it the next episode. So yeah. I already know what the story kind of know what the story is about because I watched the gameplay like a few years ago but you know playing it is different than just watching gameplay so yeah it's gonna be epic so let's see I'm sorry guys I'm not gonna do it on heart not on nightmare not on insane I'll try it myself on heart or the different ones but it's really it's the first ever horror game I'm playing, so I'm gonna do it on normal. Sorry, guys. So, Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would they dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of the Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide or die. Cool. Just the things I like. So let's see we're in the Nice looking car. We have a, a card over there. Press, an official press member, I guess. Like a journalist, you know. Just the basic stuff. Let's see. I don't know. Graphics. Audio. Let's put it a bit lower. Yeah, sorry guys. You guys need to hear me. Music in this game is so epic, honestly. Ah uh, yes, let's see. What do we have here? September 17th, 2013. Yeah, 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 the mute meal. Two, okay. Hey, Gmail, epic. Tip, illegal activity at Merkov Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me, have to make this quick, they might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Merkov Psych Psychiatric Facilities in Mount Mass. All sorts of DNAs I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it, don't believe half the things I saw Dr. State talking about dream therapy going too deep finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain people are being hurt and Markov is making money it needs to be exposed cool so we're just uh, investigating illegal shit okay cool Nice camera. You know, this is really a, a cliche. Or like, you know, something you see in a lot of horror movies. That people go to random abandoned places or asylums and, you know, then this sort of stuff happens. It's something I've noticed and it's very remarkable. To open the door quickly, press left mouse button to open the door slowly, hold down. Yeah, we don't know what's out there. To raise your com okay, camcorder. So I've already played the first 10 minutes of this game. Cause I wanted to get a feel 
a feeling for the game, you know? So yeah, I kind of already know how everything is, how the beginning is, but I just want to look at everything, you know? Alright, well, let's go where we should go. Very nice. Uh, let's see, can we open this? Because I didn't try that the last time. Nope. That's all good. Yes. Let's go. It's like... Do you guys see that? It's like there's a filter on the, on like, you know, on his eyes. Looks a bit weird, and that doesn't look that good. Okay, doesn't care. Don't care. The game is very nice. I really like the music, man. Yeah, you activate night vision when your camcorder press F. F to pay respects, boys. I'm sorry, I'm turning it a bit lower. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay then, don't work. Alright, we don't need light for this. Okay. Let's see. <sighs> Jesus Christ. That sounds like a train in the background. You hear that? Or it could be the TV. Let's see what's here. Nothing. Come on, don't scare me. Alright, cool. What's this? Merkel Psychiatric Mount Master CO, case number 174, pages initials WPH, Billy, consultation dated 2012. Oh, that's like a year ago. Initial date of patient consult 2009. Patient age 19, gender male. Observing physician, Dr. Carl Houston. Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostics, spirometry revealed no bron bronchial accumulation. Sorry guys, that's a lot of... Difficult words to pronounce. <laughs> he met the crit centrifuge again, filled the separate erythrocytes. Highly worrisome MRI revealed arrhythmic REM slash NRM cycle laughter in NRM state. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Merkov and their assignment. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claim that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical and biometrics. Cool. Waller Rider. Right. Let's try this door. Nope. What's this? All these sounds. That's something I really like about these type of games. They really know how to, you know, keep you tense, if you feel what I mean. Nothing there, I think. 
Let's see. No. I don't know how this works, but... Oh, no, 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 I know. Let's see what's through here. Okay. Just trying, just trying. Ooh, that's a rip. Everyone is hit, missing their heads. Sorry, guys. If you don't like, I gotta say, if you don't like these type of games, don't watch them. Damn. This music is really loud. Oh, shit. They killed us. That's a damn rip. Fuck out of this terrible place. Will do, mate. Will do. So, that's like through his dick. Bam. Oh. Oh look, it's better. Mm, let's see, nothing here. Little fake. Leave me alone, man. Oh, God. Oh, hello there. And who are you then? That's a rip. I... I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Oh. Oh yeah. Bit of a cultish game, I think. Did he take my camera? No, he didn't. Escape the asylum, access security controls. Escape the asylum, access control, and lock the main doors. Where the fuck is that even? Pam. <laughs> Where the hell is the secu- oh. Oh, look, another battery. Oh, I think I know. So, probably the difference with the modes is like, you know. Oh, that's a rip. What's up with all the head chopping? Oh, is that his? Yep, that's his guts, I think. Let's see. If. A fida feet having been made before the board of the rectors. Merc of Corp. In the matter of the seizure of. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. All this reading having been made before the board of directors by Merc of Hardline Security. There is reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment and contamination. We are satisfied with the fida and testimony. Establish sufficient, I don't know how to pronounce that shit, evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant that bullshit full access to all facilities 
and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and all the other faggots surrender all claims of the litigation against the Murkoff Corp or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions regardless of responsibility. So now, I don't know where to go. Seems like I need to go here. Oh, didn't even know I could zoom. Can I go in here? Oh, no, it's blocked off. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. So it seems like everyone is. Also, I think I know what the difference between the modes is. So if you pick like a higher difficulty, there will be less batteries on the ground, I guess. Hey, another document. Yay, more reading. How big is this? Fucking hell. So I'm not going to read all of this, y'all, the beginning at least, y'all can read that if you want. Let's see the, the name though. Oh. Walker. Male. He's 32. Dr. Rudolf Wernicke. Therapy status. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 20 ppm. Unsafe at progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics Spirometry revealed light and medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patient reported dreams. In the few notes, Walker has interviewed in restraints following his self inflicted mutilations. Restraints have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous ex. Oh, his enormous size, sorry. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with filled morphogenic engine cell cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tuatra lizards and their parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation, the mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan, so I guess PTSD or whatever bullshit, seem to be retarding progression of the ME progress. His predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a manic exaggeration of military security pro protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Damn, all these documents though, so much. Can I see the names? I mean, I can still kind of use it. Project, oh, it's, it's just project names. In here? Alright, let's reload the battery. Oh, we can actually peek. Oh, wait, was that there? I don't know. I don't know what's real anymore. Ugly motherfucker. You better stay there, mate. What are you even watching? Nothing? I see. Damn. That music, though. What's this the guy doing? Oh. Ah, yes. So we got a security card, that's cool. Why can't 
I'm gonna get here. Am I retarded? Oh no, I gotta go for here. Oh, it's glass. Alright. I thought there was something flashing on the table. Hmm, weird. Is there a way I can go through vents? There are vents here. There's no way to go in them. So, uh, no, I guess. You are really breathing loud, mate. Can we go in here? Nope. I mean, what did I expect? But, okay, cool. <laughs> Jesus That made me jump really good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, mate, calm down. It's just me. It's just me, mate. Please, let me through. Like that one. Okay, that's a bit of a dumb logic, but I right, sure man. You do you. Is that a PC or Yeah that's the PC. That one is a bit broken. I swear mate, if you guys know Blair Witch, that horror game, it gives me exactly the vibes of, uh, oh wait, i already been here, the vibes of Outlast with the camera and shit, except for the fact that you uh, can't uh, have the, that you can't have the camera on your face. No thanks. No thanks. Is there someone here? I I'm kinda kinda don't wanna open it. Witness. Rip him. I'll uh, put a PGO. Oh sh Yep. Alright, time to film it. Jesus Christ. Can I even show this all? Hey, a battery. Did the door just shut? This is the security room, right? I better close this. I 
Does this guy even talk though? I bet your ass I'm gonna get a jump scare. Oh. I just knew it. I knew it. I hear something. God damn. Oh, it's that guy again. He's really bloody. Let me just wait a little bit. No shit. I remember now. But I need to... Did he go for a year? I assume, since it's the basement where we need to go... Oh, I don't like this one bit. So this is the basement, hopefully. But, of course, there's a lock on here. There's also water. Mm, oh wait, a document. Yes, reading. Let's see. So, to file subject hypnotic experimentation research February 10, 1954. On Wednesday 10, February 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Material abridged. Uh, Post-hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger you will sleep, was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a sleep, now in a deep hypnotic sleep, and failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesita hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Two, Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun while she refused in an awakened state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. 
Cool. Turn this music. There's someone over there. I think there's someone. I think there's someone coming. Might be wrong, but you know, just being sure. Well, I hear something. Go off here. Let's close it. That's a bit loud, mate. Don't want people to hear you, but instead, you just yeet the damn door. What will this do actually? Pump the water? I guess. Oh, you got it. Come on. Fam. Why are you all breaking the door, so... Where is he? Oh shit, I see him. I'm going back. <laughs> this is just patrolling or something. I can't hear him. That's not what I wanted to do. Wait, let me check something. Is this still running? Yes, it is. Cool. Alright. Nice. What? Did they? Did they found me? Right, I'm, I'm making a run for it. Still a bit loud, mate. Oh, I see a locker. Very interesting. <laughs> I 
just listening if he if he's still here. There's a battery over there. Alright, making a run for it. Oh, but this is the other room. Where should I go then? No, you ain't getting me. Um, I don't know how to get past this guy. I don't want to die. Oh wait. Alright, I'm retarded. It's official. What's this? Oh. Try to open it slowly. Oh wait. All right, let's go over here. Bit of a anticlimactic jump. Is this it? Wait, what now? Start a generator. I have the feeling that I need to hide here. This is a lot of hiding, guys. I know it's not that exciting, but wait. Yeah, that's him. He's close, obviously. I don't know if we... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I'm done for. I know. Let's wait till he's gone. Wait, I want to look at notes. 
I'm inside. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood, burn marks, heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. That mark of scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say mark of advanced research systems. Markov's long-time MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed clarity. Oh, charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money of a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pin like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Yeah, pretty much. Big fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> the big fucker is talking me. Found a patient file for a Chris Walker. Ex military police. Several hours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hand, but not all of it. These notes are funny. Project War Rider. Didn't see that one. Dear sirs, the full report pending, no immediate action is required on the part of the Murkov Corp. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. Four fatalities contain enough amb ambig ambiguous data to make a lit lit litigation. litigation of evidence is correctly managed. Impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative and there will most almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the legal in the legal uh, wait, where the fuck was I? Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models. But the combination of physical and chemical restraints is proven sufficiently effective to ensure continued control. And profit. Respectfully, Helen Gunner. Markov. Okay, go for you. Let's see if this guy is finally gone. So I don't hear him anymore. Wait, let me just. Nah, no. Nah. Fucking guy. Hey, better. Let's go this way. I'm a bit. A bit, you know, afraid where this will lead me. Why do I have a feeling that every time that sound comes, the fucker will come? No, fuck off. I hear him. I'm about to die here. Nah, boy. Music though in this game. It's just damn well done.
what's a... no I'm not gonna say anything I guess I'll just say it when I'm done with this playthrough I'm I'm listening if there's if the boy is here. That sounds like the guy is coming, to be honest. I hear a lot of sounds, but I don't hear him. He's gonna come. I'm telling you. Nah, nah. Alright, no balls, let's do it. Hey. <laughs> Bit loud, man. <laughs> Alright. That's lucky. That's quite lucky. So I'm gonna refill it already. I just need a full battery. Nah, boy. Bye. Wait. I thought I did that. <sighs> All right. Well. 
Time to go down the stairs again, though. I'm just gonna yeet it. No walls. Nah, boy. You ain't even shit. Nah. Oh. the heaven and went away. So I thought I already restarted it. I guess I didn't. Well, I guess we'll find that out in the next episode. Guess I'll have to do some reading. So I hope you guys like this uh, video. This uh, little premiere. And goodbye then. See you later. But first, before I go, let, let me reload my battery. I, I'm sorry, I know I'm kind of wasting them, but, you know, just... Goodbye.